This edition of Computer Club Lesson was recorded on May the 1st, 2017. In this edition, James is going to look at some analogous ways to look at your computer and help you understand how it works. Hello, welcome to Computer Club Lesson. This episode is brought to you by the Binary Guys. Okay, it's one o'clock, folk, and we're, there's not many of us, I know, we're getting but smaller. but there's enough for me to talk to and feel comfortable. And uh, I never talk to myself. But that's, yeah, that's another story. And uh, there's enough of us here uh, to make a video for everybody else. So, do we have any errata from the last time we were here? Any questions? Any concerns? about anything we talked to last week. Yeah, what happened? I didn't watch the video. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> your fault. Um, so beyond that, um, I guess we'll start. Uh, today, we're going to look at uh, a light analogies. Something that's analogous is something that you can say, it's like. It's something like. And we're going to talk about analogies in the computer. And James is going to start off doing this because I don't feel well right now. So, oh, James, tag, you're it. So, at first I, I wanted to do the hardware analogies. And then he said no. So, instead... Um, we essentially have um, analogies that would help you understand what uh, the computer can do and what you can use it for. So if you think of a computer as, or a laptop or desktop, even a tablet and phone, or smartphone anyways, um, you can think of it as a room that you walk into. And this room has can be any room that you need it to be. Uh, for example, the most obvious ones I always go to is an office, uh, an office cubicle, where you'll have your desk, your recycle bin, filing cabinets, and all that is in the computer. So, um, the start is your the office desk, which is essentially your uh, the desktop of the computer, where you would just lay all your files and folders and anything that you want on your desk to look at. Hello. Your any windows you open is just a page that is put onto your desk. Um, your recycle bin is typically next to your desk, but we decided to have it on. And that's also the same where if you throw something in the recycle bin, you can take it out again, or you can empty it to a bigger trash can. <laughs> But um, essentially, like all the icons and programs for um, that you see here are just instead of filed away in your cabinet, you just leave them on top of your desk so you can pick it up and read it anytime you want. Now that all depends on how messy you want to be. Yeah, there don't are, be like there are people out there that that. Uh, would not brook a piece of paper left on their desk after they were finished and they were going to go home. Everything was put away. And so the desktop would be empty. But that's not me. That's not him. Well, 
and it's I'm more organized than you are. <laughs> where yeah. you have, you put items on your desktop and there they remain until you are thoroughly, thoroughly done with them. And that may be years. <laughs> that's what you're very smart. Could be. So that's, that, that analogy holds true that there are people that would like to have an absolutely clean desktop when they leave their office. There are others that don't give a damn. Okay. I at least keep mine organized, man. I can't find anything on your computer. Um, <laughs> oh, I need to find things if I want to teach them. Um, so essentially you can also put um, again folders on your desk to organize more so we have a file in here of just PowerPoint which will have everything that we use for PowerPoint in there and it would just be quicker like uh, my great-grandfather as a good example uh, he does online banking so well, he, he more or less does his online bank statements, but he has them on his computer as well. So he would have a folder um, called bank statements, and then in that folder are two other folders for his banks, and then this year, next year, last year. <laughs> so he's pretty organized that in that regard. Um... And speaking of folders, um, that leads us to the filing cabinet. Pretty much every office has one. Uh, even we have one <laughs> in the back. <laughs> um, but essentially, you have two filing cabinets on, on your computer. And that is uh, my computer or this PC and your user folder, which will be named um, either your name, user, owner, or something along the lines. Now, this PC has is what I call the big uh, filing cabinet. It doesn't. It holds every file that you can possibly imagine that's ever been made. Um, most of them have nothing to do with you or your job but it's there for when you need it. Um, your user folder is your, the small personal ones specifically for your work that you can pull out any anything that you've done and pull it up. So I can bring my documents and you have no documents. Man, nothing on this computer. But I can just bring up, for example, there we go. I can bring this up because I just f filed it in my documents. So typically, um, it's a smaller, um, smaller personal one for you that has all the files that pertain to you and you alone. You can also, again, make new folders to organize it, uh, organize any new information you get even better. Um, writing and editing documents have pretty much been the same in, other than instead of physically typing it on to a piece of paper with a typewriter, you're just doing it electronically. Um, instead of cutting um, with a pair of scissors and using glue to paste it in another part you can just magically do it but it will still get rid of it from one area and put it into another for cut and paste copy and paste has changed quite a bit um, instead of uh, going to a photocopier <laughs> and copying many pages of this and just wasting paper now you can just copy and hit paste to quote unquote 
photocopy them and have as many as you want without having to run off to the photocopier and copy it that way. You can also copy anything that you find on the internet and it's much easier than going to a photocopier. Um, another change that has really only happened was um, editing text files or pictures or whatnot. Text files you used to have to use whiteout and either remark it with pen or put it back into the typewriter. Now you can just go where you want, hit back the backspace key and that will essentially white it out and then you can retype over it. Um, the other office things you can do are correspondence like looking at mail that you would do or any social media. Um, you can even go to the store on your computer. <laughs> Uh, like Amazon, Kijiji, uh, Shears, uh, you can buy and sell stuff. Essentially, you also have a library in your computer, as that's what pretty much the internet is. It's just a library of information that you can use to gather knowledge from how to make a cake to how do I fix this thing I screwed up on. It can also be uh, an entertainment center which uh, for like your games or movies, videos, uh, pictures, that can also be this room that the computer mimics. You can even play pool. <laughs> um, and the last one that's the most um, would be important to you guys is the communication center as well. It can be uh, where you use Skype as a phone or uh, group calls, group chats, just anything that you can communicate to one person to another face to face. Social. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you'll notice there I put down attached devices. And that can be things like telephones, uh, a special device that you can buy, uh, costs you about 60 bucks. Um, you attach it to your computer, put a little bit of software on the computer, attach a telephone to it, an actual telephone, and you can make telephone calls through your computer. You have your own telephone number, this is called Magic Jack. You've probably seen oh, the, yes. the on, on uh, television, the advertisements. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I've used Magic Jack for years. It, it, in fact, Magic Jack is my business telephone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that good that I trust it as my business telephone. I have a cartmobile down two seconds. I didn't renew my, you have to renew your. Every yeah, you have to renew it every year. 60 bucks, 70 bucks a year, but that is really, really cheap telephone <coughs> when, when you consider that, you know, your, your cheapest telephone bill from Bell is like $35 a month. So do you get incoming calls too? Yes, you can do incoming calls, you can call forward, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. It's just pretty much a phone, but instead of yeah, but going through... A plugged in all the time, no. Well, you would... Uh, you would have to leave, uh, you'd have to have a dedicated computer. Now, the computer the does not have to be very good. It just has to be able to connect to the internet and function. Okay? Mm -hmm. you, you plug your phone, your phone device into it and never touch it again. If the computer fails, you don't have a phone. But what computers fail anymore? If you don't fiddle with them, it's not going to fail. So you can take a $50 potato computer that you bought from your nephew. If it's good enough to make sound, it's good enough for a telephone. And it has call waiting, call display, yes, everything call, that all you of that stuff. Yep. Yep, it's pretty much a phone, like an actual phone, but instead of it going through a phone line, it goes through the internet. Yeah. That's but that's the pay, only difference. You pay extra for call waiting or call display. 
I mean, we don't hear because it's in our, our plan, but as an individual, you, you pay for those added yeah. features. Yeah, uh, a lot of those features are in, in Magic Jack. There are so a few is. others that you can buy that work through the internet for telephone. Uh, so is there just one ma Magic Jack, or is there different qualities in? No, there's there's just one. Just one? Yeah. My daughter and they comes when they go to uh, Mexico, that's it. Their phone, they can use it like a local phone. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly so. Yeah. Where do you go to sign this, sign up for this? Well, you can, uh, you can, you as a matter of fact, I think you can buy Magic Jack at Walmart. So you can buy and use but then you have, you have to go and make make an account and um, and learn how to plug it in and use it and, and all of that. But that's that's not that difficult to do. There's there's plenty of tutorials on the internet on how to use Magic Jack. It is not that difficult to do. It's I think you can get them at factory direct just below the link. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. 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 Right. Now I have an old uh, I have an old one that I bought years ago. Um, and it requires that it's plugged into the computer all the time, but the newer the newer versions of it only are only required that they are plugged into the internet. They plug into a wall to give them power. Then you plug you plug a, a dedicated cable into your internet connection and plug your telephone in, and you're you're off and running. Does it it's have that, to be a desktop, or can you do it into a laptop? You can do it into any computer. Any computer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, with Skype, you can also uh, use as a phone, though that is a subscription-based service. Um, but yeah, you can call businesses with your computer. You can pretty much do anything. You have a buddy in Australia. You can talk to him face to face in Australia. That's what I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much uh, it, really. Um, for pretty much anything that you can think of that you would do in a room, your computer can also do it if you think of it as that room as well. So, like, you can go make blueprints for uh, AutoCAD and doing all that. Is, may I go back to copying? I'm a little confused when you say instead of copying it on paper, or, or rather copying it on your printer, you can copy it right on your computer and leave it multiple copies. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll do, actually, I'll do an example with this. So, um, before you would have to go to a photocopier and uh, copy out what you want, but now you can just highlight what you want uh, and do copy or control C and then if I just go to the bottom here you can then paste it so I want this to repeat three times I, th I think I did it three times or four times yeah, there we go. <laughs> so you can repeat it as many times as you want. And in a different document. Yeah, it doesn't even need to be in the same document. I can make a new one real quick. If this computer was fast, thank you. There we go, now it's a notepad. And if you think of each uh, file and program as well, you can copy those. Um, as these are just essentially pages that you can bring to a photocopy and copy. So I want uh, multiple, I want, uh, what's a good thing I can copy and paste here? presentation. I can copy that and I can paste a new one and another one. <laughs> uh, 
and another one. Do that, please. <laughs> so you can paste as many as you want. Uh, we now have four copies of presentation. <laughs> Uh, now, the computer is also smart, and if it's named the same thing, uh, it will say that it's a copy or just add a number. It's pre presentation two, presentation three. Um, just so you know what it is if you did name it the same. So I'll just quickly get rid of these for, for him. I'll just throw these in the recycling bin. We don't need these anymore. The other one. No. Why didn't you just drag it to the bin? Um, cause. <laughs> or can't you? Well, you can, but uh, just to save. Th there's two ways to delete things as well. You can go straight to the recycle bin, um, which it will be there for if you want to bring it back but you can also completely set fire to it, <laughs> it forever. yeah so it's not taking up any space so that's what I did um, if you just hold shift and while hitting delete it will permanently get rid of it you won't have another chance to get it back um, so I do that with things I know I don't want because then I don't and yeah. You know, do I really, really mean that? And then you can delete it from there. Yeah, but I, I knew I didn't want it, want them. Well, I knew he didn't want them. <laughs> so I skipped the recycle bin and just threw them right in the furnace for <laughs> burning. But that's pretty much. Um, what page is that that you're on? The top of the. My PC, that page that no, oh. you were on. Oh, this one was my. Uh, it's just WordPad. Yeah, WordPad. Yeah. Um, which I'm just gonna. Okay. So, yeah, WordPad uh, comes with your computer. It's just a downgrade from Word. It, it's pretty much a downgrade from Microsoft Word. Um, yeah, it, like it's, WordPad is just a downgrade of any Word. Yeah. It's better than Notepad, which is just for note, simple notes, but WordPad, you can make a proper document, sort of, and did you ever do headers and formatting? Have you ever had a lesson on that? Um, we haven't no, really. No, we haven't. We haven't gone too deeply into that. Um, As one woman was asking about headers and all that. And yeah. Um, it, and I wondered. We haven't gone too deeply into that because um, really um, drilling down that deeply into programs. Uh, to use as many functions in the programs as you can, in a single program as you can, would be confusing if you went to another program, you won't find those functions. Okay? You won't find that kind of function. But you're saying we don't need them. Um, <laughs> You've never had use of them. Sometimes you do um, need them, if, but I don't think it's for everybody, where what James and I tried to do on, a, you know, on, on, on the basis of every lesson is to come up with something that everybody should know. Okay, and being able to format a header is something intricate, intricate and special. And you're right, you teach yourself. You go in and mess around. Go to YouTube. Too. Well, do you not have any kind of word like LibreOffice? Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, then you go into LibreOffice and there's then you sit there and you. You, you give gives you a page one blank page you know your your thing there you you have your way of centering so you center your title then you put put it in caps and then you learn how to underline it and it's you teach yourself all it's a secretarial kind of a thing yeah. that you just do 
<laughs> and you teach yourself. Yeah. Add and delete. Yeah. There are basic Normal. tutorials on YouTube yeah. for you, everything YouTube, that you would want to do. YouTube is is uh, yeah. is Google. So there's tutorials there for everything that you would want to do uh, in how to format documents uh, to use for yourself. Um, what are you doing here, my lad? <laughs> I'm making a header. Header. There's header. Bingo. Then we'll go down here and go. How do you get the center of the page? Oh, there's there's ways to do it. Way uh, up here past his head. <laughs> yeah, right here. Uh, the, these functions. are all the ways, the options that you have oh. of manipulating the text that you're going to put on the page. Um, Say and you'd made a mistake in header there and you put an S instead of an R. How would you oh you just backspace it? Yep, just yeah, backspace. You, like and if it was the H like no, it, you have to go all the way or you <laughs> or you can carefully Delete put your screen. cursor right here and then and backspace. Then, and then back, yeah. Oops, I keep not doing what I want. Okay. <laughs> I got this. Just Okay. So I I've noticed I made a mistake in Das at the beginning of where yeah. in the beginning here. I, I wanted that to be a capital D. So I can either move um, my mouse there or I can control it with my arrow keys and just go there as well. And then you just hit backspace and then change it to a capital D. Oh, I see. And I, I wanted this part bold, you can just highlight it, change it to bold. And, and that is all... Uh, That's uh, all uh, hard uh, uh, across yes. the top here. And, and most every um, program that you're going to use for documents has this now. Okay, if you look carefully across the ribbon across the top, you'll find all of this stuff, uh, whether it looks like this or it's named, it's all there. It's all there. Even on XP? Even on XP. There is a way <laughs> to show you um, well, these kinds of things. Yeah. <laughs> there. You can even do this if you want. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, I, I don't want to type out a whole, full thing, so I'm going to go into good old bullet form and just say because there we go first bullet form which you spelled wrong <laughs> 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 screw spelling <laughs> but I, I noticed I made a mistake <laughs> so you can back up there you go. hold on there we go I, I passed third grade, I promise. Uh, yeah, in this, in this particular program, uh, there doesn't seem to be much in the way of spell checking. Um, I can't remember whether there's a spell check built into it or not. Uh, well, doesn't your um, um, clicker, doesn't it have it? Like right clicker, doesn't it have a spell checking? Seems I'm not. It, it may do. In some programs, it may do. Um, no, not really. No, there's there's nothing there to to uh, no. show you how to spell check. Um, but then again, you guys are all smarter than me when it comes to spelling. <laughs> yeah. That's why we have spell check. <laughs> yeah. I I spelt words that I'm not used to spelling, like typewriter. I'm like, wait, is that a full one word? Is it two words? Is it a hyphen word? What? <laughs> all right, so. James has pretty much uh, now um, gone into the weeds on this, and we really didn't want to go there. Hey, they asked a question, sort of, and I answered it, sort of. All right. That's, that's how I go. I sort of answer questions. All right. And I'm so going to talk about what I wanted to talk about, which yeah. is not fair. What's that? The tabs thing. Oh, yeah. 
Well, there's not much we can do with that. Uh, I have noted over the last uh, week or so, or two weeks, um, uh, especially when I've loaded up uh, new computers with Windows 10, um, that uh, some of the um, the updates and upgrades have changed. Someone was asking me about Creator. Okay, uh, Creator is available. Um, if it asks you to upgrade to Creator, why not? What is be the first? They say yeah. yeah. You can. Go you can and yeah. Take it and bingo yeah. Yeah. I'm asking you though, do I really want to? That's um, <laughs> you're asking me? I'm happy with my computer. Yeah, so. if you're happy with it, leave it. There are a few uh, 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 a few changes in the, in the Creator uh, upgrade, um, which they say makes things easier, but if you're used to what you're doing, don't mess with success, folks. I mean, you can. You can mess with success if you want to, but then you're going to find yourself in a world of hurt. Yeah. But you're out there all so, alone, you know, with the, with the, the, if you take it ahead of time, you're out there all alone, maybe, and then now what do I do? It's done this Yeah, thing, you, know? uh, you, you can wait for a while and wait for, the, uh, wait for the tutorials on YouTube to catch up with what's been happening, and that way, if, if you need to understand how something is working, there's your YouTube videos uh, on how to do it. Uh, but uh, as as for Windows 10, um, these this upgrade uh, to the Creator project, um, you can do it right away if you want to. I I have not heard anything bad about it. So, does okay. everybody get a, an opportunity from Microsoft to put that in? Like well, they never. They're, 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 they're in the settings, in their security, and updates. Yeah. They're saying it's available if you want. Yeah. Go ahead and get it. Oh, yeah. Well, it's how, pretty how, new, and I'm kind of leery. See, there, you there you show it. It's in a setting right there. See, yeah. There. Yeah. Oh, right there. See, in my case, uh, Creative Ten is on its way. Um, it's not ready for me yet, or they're they're not ready to push it out to me. Yes. But uh, if you go and look look uh, in your settings and updates, um, you will probably find that there. Um, and um, do you want to be the first one to get it? Well, I'm not going to take this too far, but I am going to click on it and say, "Yes, show me how." That's <laughs> what I, I did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I don't think it's going to give me an opportunity to so download it yet. Me privacy. It would have asked me some of my privacy stuff and that, and I thought, ah, phooey, I don't know. No, it doesn't, it doesn't offer a download yet, but it will. Okay. Eventually it will. They, I mean, they'll eventually do it anyway, won't they? Yeah, I mean, eventually, once it... Yeah. It'll be an up, 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 update. An update rather than an upgrade. Yeah. Like and... Uh, because for me, it was an update. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I have also read, this, as a matter of fact, this morning, that Microsoft is going to break out uh, the updates for Edge uh, rather than have them included in the updates for Windows 10. So you're, you're going to start getting upgrades for Edge. Um, I knew years, you know, last year when, when all of this started that they would not be able. Uh, Microsoft as, as a company not be able uh, to give you the latest and greatest stuff in a full update of the operating system. They tried. They tried. And Patch Tuesdays uh, were, were the day that they tried. But um, for all of the, the stuff that's coming fast and furious at Windows Edge, uh, for Edge to be able to use it, they have to update it separately. So you will start getting updates for Windows Edge. Take them. If you're using Edge, take them. Take the updates. Um, well, uh, I don't use I don't use Edge um, as as a uh, um, as an internet uh, option. Uh, I use Chrome, uh, but. <laughs> It's always let's been good yeah. For a backup. Let's go back to 1998, when the browser wars were in full swing. 
I was four years. Um, and the browser wars were, uh, in fact, Netscape, which became Mozilla, and um, Internet Explorer from Microsoft. Now, at the time, both were free, uh, and both of them had um, different options that, that were useful uh, to you. Um, forget the fact that, in, in very short order, uh, Internet Explorer became um, a security uh, mess uh, with holes in it so big you could drive a truck through them. Um, Netscape um, pretty much tried to fill those holes, but um, the, um, they were just overwhelmed with uh, Microsoft's um, Internet Explorer, and so they eventually lost the browser wars. Internet Explorer became the de facto standard um, for um, browsing the Internet because video worked so well. You could see pictures on it from just about any kind of, of uh, format. Um, it, it loaded quick with tricks. Um, so um, that's why they lost the war. Um, the war continued on in that Internet Explorer uh, kept getting more insecure and more insecure and more insecure. And um, institutions like banks were loath to have you log into their stuff through Internet Explorer, which had all these security issues. You know, if a hacker wanted to, he could use Internet Explorer to hack the bank. All right? And that's how it was done in most cases. Um, those issues are still present, but in, in uh, not in so much a robust way as they were in Internet Explorer. They are still present in uh, Microsoft Edge, but it's mainly that Edge is more secure for you than it is for um, the websites that you might want to visit with Edge. Uh, in other words, a hacker can still use Edge um, to uh, work his will on websites. Okay, but it's more secure for you. There are more options for you for your security when you're doing online banking and buying stuff and going to secure websites with your personal information. Okay, so um, the one thing though that still bothers and bedevils everybody who understands it is the fact that Microsoft Edge is the de facto program for Microsoft to take over your computer and do its will with it. I mean if you look at it um, the update process is a web page and that web page is an edge page. Okay? So Microsoft has a way to take over your computer absolutely and control it. If they can do it anybody else can do it. And that was the problem. It was all done through Internet Explorer. Uh, updates for Windows XP um, and, uh, and Vista and Windows were all done through an XP kind of, or, or uh, an Internet Explorer kind of environment. And they used um, ActiveX to do it, and they still are. I don't like it. I wish they wouldn't use it, but so we're stuck. In Edge, we can put Google as a search engine? Yes, you yes. can. Okay. Just go to the settings like we do in the other one? Um, like we do in Chrome? In settings. Um, you go all the way down. Yeah. Um, View advanced settings, I believe it's in. Um, I know it's in here somewhere, I just haven't done it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, 
The, yeah, uh, I have it set up to uh, to use Bing as a search engine in uh, in Edge. Internet Explorer. Uh, I'm sorry, in Edge, and uh, it's telling me that clear Bing search history. Which I um, think was something yeah, uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't use Edge right now. Is it is it it's so difficult. Um, to, um, it's not what I'm used to when I'm looking at things to search for. So we're going to do the old apple pie search. And it's showing me all of these things from Bing. That's Google. That's Google. Look at it. When did it switch to Google? But the search <laughs> engine is Bing in the background. Oh, yeah. The search engine in the background is Bing. So Bing is okay? Yeah, Bing is, is okay. Um, in some other different kinds of searches, you're going to see ads. Um, you're going to see ads from uh, different advertisers maybe of food, maybe of cars. If you're looking for apple pie, you may get advertisements for cars. Who knows? It's just what, you know, what's your luck that day? Um, but uh, in this instance, you might think that uh, you understand what's happened here, but you don't. Um, the, the background search engine right now that you're looking at is Bing. Okay, okay. That's why it's easier. All right, so there we are back again. Um, and so let's uh, apple pie. Okay, it has searched everything from Bing to do this. Now let's just see for the sake of argument. This was. Um, um, this is Edge. Let me go to Chrome. And search for apple pie. How did you make those pages smaller than the size of the monitor? Uh, just let's get them side by side here. It's actually it's, they're the same, aren't they? The, they appear to be. Yes, it's actually Google. <laughs> Okay. All recipes, uh, simple recipes. You're right. They're all the same. They're all the same. Because yeah. when 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 he was typing into it, you could pick either from Bing or Google okay, to search, I, and it automatically went to Google each time each for him. <laughs> Because uh, when you when when they first had Edge, you couldn't change things. Yeah. Might yeah. Do yeah. yeah. You can. D there are more settings that that you can attempt to change now, and the changes will take. But in the early days of Edge, they just would not take. Yeah, because I tried. tried. Yeah. I just left mine. Yeah. yeah. So in the end, I just stopped using it. That's what I did. I stopped using it. <laughs> This, yeah. this, uh, what we're into now uh, has more to do with uh, what we talked about a couple of weeks ago uh, and that was how to search for stuff on the internet. Okay, So that's where we are with this and uh, we may as well keep going with it for another uh, few minutes um, because there are always things to know about ways to search for stuff on the internet. Um, Ooh, did you tell them about the fact that you can uh, in Google do minus these words or plus yeah words. yeah that um, that's really advanced searching um, let us just say that you wanted to search for new cars um, so we'll use Google to do that new cars a very broad search term Okay, so new cars for 2018. Well, what are you doing 2018? Where 
we haven't even started 2017 yet. We're halfway through it, but. We're halfway through. Besides the point, I've been laid off for a year. Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of these, these cars will be ready to look at in September. Okay? But let's go down the page here and see some things about it. Um, and you'll notice that for the most part, we don't have anything from Ford or Chevy or Honda or anything like that. Let's go back. Now I did 2018. Let's uh, do new cars. 2016. Oops, new cars. Uh, I spelled it wrong, didn't I? Okay. So we're still getting stuff for car and driver, uh, for road and track, um, automobile magazines. We're not getting anything from Ford, Chevy, Honda, anything like that. Let's go back one more time and do that. New cars. Ford, adding a word. Okay. First thing that comes up is, of course, the ad for Ford.ca. Um, auto guide about Ford. Uh, uh, Ford.com. Car and driver, Ford products, reviews. Ford.com. Oh. Ford. Yeah. Yeah. That's so. Let's try this. All manufacturers. And we're back to car and driver, consumer reports, auto, uh, auto one, two, three. It doesn't tell us anything about very specific. All right, so there's something to keep in mind that if you're not specific in your search, you will not get specific answers. And so, if you want, if you want to find um, things about things that you're interested in, you have to be specific. That means you have to take a step back and think about your question. How are you going to question your search? What parameters are you going to use? If you were to get, uh, you make, make your, uh, your search parameter in such a way that all of a sudden all you were getting were, were results from Ford and you wanted to see some, some re results from Chevy, what you can do is you can put a minus in front of a word. And when it does its search, it will say, if I find car and driver, we won't show you that. Let's see if it works. Where are you? Yeah, well here, I'll, I'll go back to before we did it. First, second and third one are car and, car and driver com. Yeah. And then when I go, I actually go back. They're not there. <laughs> yeah, they're not there. It's taken, the, it's taken those terms out. And so... Um, you can even have multiple of them if you want. The true test of it would be um, something like searching for pies for dessert. And if the first 20 items that you got were apple pie, you can Pies for dessert minus, no space, apple. And all apple pies would disappear. So you've narrowed down your search. You've made it easier for you to search those parameters that only, the, that only interest you. That um, oh, you can do a hundred other things that way as well. 
I guess I should have put them recipes. <clears throat> You guys hungry yet? <laughs> but the that's that's one of the reasons we use apple pie, um, is it it shows up when you use the word apple. It shows up so many times, and let us just say that you um, put in only the word apple, and the first twenty entries. Were, were for um, Apple products. Okay? You could say, well, no, no, I don't want that. I want apple pie. Okay? So you could put in apple minus apple. I was going to say apple minus computer. Yeah. That way. Um, and Oh, well, okay. Now we get the phones. Yeah, yeah now you get phones. Oh, yeah. I told you about the incident one where I, back when I was had a hobby building dollhouses, and I went on the computer. I wanted I to look up sites to buy stuff and that. And uh, I would just typed in the word dollhouses. Oh, you should have seen what came up. <laughs> I never got out of that. miniature <laughs> <laughs> dollhouses. <laughs> yeah. I was terrified when I, oh, my God. Years, uh, I think I told you this story uh, as well about um, getting messed up in searches, um, and it would happen to school children all the time. Um, there you go. The their homework would be tell me all about space. Okay. okay. Give me a you know a, a paragraph all about space for your homework tonight. Kid would go home. And in those days, way back when, the default of searching for something, if you knew its name roughly, was something.com. Okay? Now, the child should have been searching for nasa.gov. But what they would search for was nasa.com and what they got if they didn't search for nasa.gov was pretty ladies who took their clothes off okay once that became apparent I mean things started to change on the internet but um, it, it was the, the people that glommed on to um, the, the name uh, NASA.com knew that that was the default search for something. Dot commercial. Okay. Now that's what com stands for. Yeah, dot commercial. I don't see A stands for Canada. Yeah. <laughs> but in those six domains, the early domain names, uh, let's see if we can name them. Dot com, dot net, uh, dot org. Dot org. No. Uh, dot TV? com. No, those are those are secondary. No. Uh, com, net, org were the first three. And then CA happened. No, the, and then there were there were three other. Oh, edu for education. Oh, edu, yeah. Yeah, edu, um, and there was a couple of others. There were six in the early days, and that, but those were primary DNS addresses. Secondaries came along for country. Okay, so .ca became Canada. Uh, .tv became Togo. Is there a site you can go and find all these short or the, the what they stand for? Yeah. Every one of them. Yeah. Yeah. What are they called? Okay. Extensions. Where, where do we go? <laughs> um, domain name extensions, I believe. Oops. It would help if I can spell extensions. How do I spell extensions? There it is. Yeah. Extensions. 
<laughs> there we go. I think. Anyway, you can you can search That's around for those. Domain yeah. Yeah. You can search around for that kind of thing. Oh, it's out there. Oh, there we go. So dot co was Columbia. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, it's com, but without the o. Yeah. But they've added a bunch more, like dot club, dot design, photography, tips, and on and on and on. I thought you said something entirely different Why on that is all one. The money yeah. there? They want money for that? Oh <laughs> yeah, these well, are all worth money, uh, and uh, and the uh, the purveyors of nasty stuff have um, at the end of it all been pushed out to dot x x x. Okay. So I think is they here. can still buy those other domain names, but Actually, they have no. been pushed to triple X. Well, apparently in this, uh, adult, adult is just for buying real estate and raising children for some odd reason. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Which is also worth 140 bucks, I might add. Yeah. But... That's, that's the way searching for stuff on the internet has gone. You're still looking at um, God, the, the, three, the three top ones are .com, .net, and .org. And for the most part, anything that is, um, is not commercial and is voluntary is .org. Okay? Yeah. Organization. And there are plenty of those. So many. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I think we've just about uh, bashed the hell out of this for today. So thank you so much for coming out in the rain. And uh, I'll get this up as quickly as I can. And we'll see you in two weeks, which should be the 15th. This is yes, the first Yeah, it'll be the 15th of May. And it's not going to be raining. No. And that's that. All right. Thank you. That's Computer Club lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.